Hello everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. My name is Colleen. Today is day 11 of the Animal Crossing Island Challenge that I am currently doing. It is a lot easier than the Hardcore Challenge that you've probably seen a lot of other YouTube videos uh, about right now. Uh, this one I am able to time travel, I'm able to go to Treasure Islands. I'm just basically trying to finish an island in 30 days. Now, I will admit that this video has a lot going on in it, uh, so if you're not really into, say, flattening, I am going to put some time codes up on the screen so that you don't miss out on the building and everything else. Uh, first, you can see I am just decorating outside of Weber's house. Uh, I was just tired of how empty it seemed, so I might switch up some of these items at some point, but I just wanted to I guess try to accomplish a fuller picture for it, I guess. And I think it's pretty cute, so. And of course, I just wanna take a moment to thank everybody for checking out this video. Whether you're new here or if you've come back from previous videos, just thank you very much. I appreciate you all so much. Here you can see I was just making this land bridge a little bit more symmetrical. It was starting to bother me and I realized it was because I didn't have the hedges on the left side. Uh, so that was a fairly easy fix. Then I just put down the fences that I had available and decided to move to the next day uh, because you might have noticed at the very beginning I decided to move nooks. Uh, that was because there just wasn't enough space to move in between it. I was getting stuck behind villagers and I didn't want to be too pushy because I didn't want them to be upset with me. Uh, so. It was just becoming a whole thing and I just needed to move it before it became an issue. And I really have no regrets because it is a lot nicer to have that little space and having the two rows of that custom design matching uh, because in Ables, or in front of Ables I should say, you do have those two rows showing so it just it looks a lot more even this way. So just putting back what I had displaced when I was moving, moving everything around. Now I realized when I was editing yesterday, I made a crucial mistake. I was using cedar saplings as if that would work for stunting trees and that does not work. So I would just like to apologize for spreading this misinformation, uh, but yeah, you need to use fruit saplings. Now if you can use anything else. I'm not 100% sure, I just know that fruit saplings always work. So clearly we've moved into a flattening section of the video, so now is when I will put up a little time code for you if you wanted to skip this and get into something that's more like building or decorating, uh, but I will put that in the chapters as well, so if you wanted to be a little bit more specific with it, uh, then you can do that as well. So basically my goal with these cliffs at the back was just to break them up a bit. I don't want them to be in just one big landmass, and it was kind of, I don't know if this happens to everybody, but it was just kind of affecting my ability to imagine what I was going to do at the island, I guess is a good way to put it. Uh, now obviously by the end of this video I end up doing a sort of ambitious build. It's something that I've definitely never done before. Uh, so I guess everything worked out well today, uh, but this was the first thing I thought of because this big cliff was just kind of bothering me for a while. I should have flattened it a while ago, so that's, that's sort of my fault, but we don't have to talk about that. So as you can see, there is a lot more room for activities up here now. And the really nice thing is that from the plaza, there isn't a like hugely noticeable difference. Uh, so that is also nice because I was a little bit worried about the shop looking like it would be further back, but I don't really, I don't notice it too much, so. Now, as you can see, I stumbled into Easter territory here, or bunny day, I should say and there is just so many signs of it all over. I did end up time traveling forward a little bit 
because getting all of those extra eggs and all of those balloons, like just hearing the whistle across the sky was just a little bit too much for me. But I am on the far right side of the island. I decided I wanted to do a treehouse build for Blathers. So that is technically who it is for. It is very much a work in progress. Now, by the end of this video, it's definitely going to look like it's done. But since then, I've had more ideas to improve it, make it look a little bit cooler, more like the inspo picture, hopefully. Uh, but I am, I'm quite proud of this because like I mentioned before, I've never really done a build like this. So it was a lot of experimentation because I'm recording everything from a switch light. It was also a lot of me not recording because there was just way too much trial and error happening which obviously is a good thing we have to learn some way but there's only so much that you can put into a video but what i did include was just showing here that i decided to revise my little cutout area uh, because it just didn't look good <laughs> and i'm still trying to find ways to cover up those edges now that I had mentioned it in the last video, I am seeing the appeal of using three rows of cutouts because it kind of just eliminates that issue. Uh, I'm still not there yet, so I'm going to see if I can do it some other way, probably using some pine trees, which you'll see I ended up doing for this one. Now I did need some more storefronts from a treasure island as well. I just didn't include any footage of that because you understand what I'm doing at this point, so I figure you don't need to see me going back and forth. Clearly, I have gotten a little bit better at setting up my cutouts. They're even in the correct order, would you look at that? Now, not exactly where they're supposed to be, but hey, it was pretty close. So here I kept debating if I should move that over to cover the edge and because of the corner of the cliff I did not end up doing that which is why I end up using the cedar trees which I know I called it a pine tree not even a minute ago but just misspoke. <laughs> now I just wanted a bunch of mismatched colors. I know I would have shown the inspiration picture and you can tell it was not just one solid material or color, so that is what we are going with. One thing I wish I would have done is just leaving a little bit of room for the gazebo at the very top so it looks like a little roof. Although at the same time, in the picture that I used for the inspiration, it does look like it's quite small at the top, so maybe that's not the, the right choice anyways. I did come up with a fairly good solution, I think anyways, uh, which you'll see shortly, because at the end of the day, it is supposed to be a tree house, which is also why I've come up with some revisions for this build. I kind of want to build out one side of it so it looks a little bit more wonky, I guess. Like, think of a series of unfortunate events. I'm thinking that beach house that's up on all of those stilts, but I don't know. That That's kind of the vibe that I'm feeling. I will definitely need to put in some sort of cliff so we can get a better view of this build. Because for right now, that is the best that I can do. Which it isn't awful, but obviously it could be better. Now you can see that I just end up taking out this little wheat field end up planting some of these cedar trees like I mentioned which by the end of this you will see a picture just seeing what it looks like. I may replace one of the trees with just a little bit of a smaller one uh, but we will see about that. But as we get closer to the end of the video I just wanted to thank everybody for being here. I really appreciate you and as always I hope that everybody has a wonderful day.